What's going on everybody? This is Paul here with Religion in my mobility and meditation room at my house. Uh, Happy New Year's first of all. And so quick question for you. How many of you guys, your, your new goal for this year is strength gains? That's pretty much like almost all of us, right? Somewhere in some aspect, we want to get stronger. So the main strength building exercise that everyone loves, deadlifts, right? So this month we're going to be breaking down the deadlift in both our mobility videos and our technique videos. So in mobility, the main thing that we want to talk about here first is low back pain. So we're going to break down this piece into two pieces, how to relieve the back pain that you have right now. And next week in our video, we're going to be talking about what's actually going wrong and what's causing that back pain. It's one of two things. And we're going to talk about that next week. So, We've been deadlifting more, we want to get strong, and it's lighting up our lower back. Now we want to make sure that there's a difference between soreness and actual pain, right? Pain like something's pinching, things like that. That mobility is not really going to help. You're going to have to A, give it time to rest, but B, go to a doctor and get that checked out. So we're going to be talking about that soreness side. It's just lit up, really, really sore, tender. It's causing you movement restrictions. That's what we're going to get rid of in this video. So the first thing that I like to do for this is just getting it moving again, right? So we need to loosen it up. You wake up in the morning, you do like the Batman turns, you can't do anything, you're just completely sore. We want to loosen that up so we can get it moving and then we're going to really relieve that pain. So how I like to do that to start is just getting it moving, right? Any way that you want to sit, you can sit in a chair anywhere. I am generally sitting like this. So what I just want to do is flex it as far as we can and then roll it back, flex it, roll it back. And when you start, it might be really, really subtle movements because it's so sore, right? Just breathe into it, deep breaths, and just let it roll more and more. Once you start getting a little bit more movement in that, we're gonna uh, basically do a self-massage on it. So how we're gonna do this, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna grab our shins, knees, some people wrap all the way, I like it right about here. We're gonna around our back as far as we can we're just going to gently roll back and forth and what this is doing is we're allowing the ground to kind of give our back a massage we're just going to rock back and forth and do this uh, really with with back pain like this do it as long as it's still feeling good right so um, if, if my back is really really tender sometimes i'll spend 15 20 minutes just rolling around and loosening it up so the next thing that we can kind of do here so we're going to get into our happy baby pose, right? So we're going to grab our feet, make sure that our elbows are on the inside of our knees, not like this. And what we're going to do is kind of just move in a figure eight, move those feet around in any direction they kind of want to go. And this is going to put more weight on your lower back and kind of move it around against the ground, again, giving you that back massage kind of feeling. So like I said, I'm a big fan of the figure eights. Just roll back and forth, kind of grinds all that out. But you can bring your feet closer here if you need more of a low, low back. The further you bring your feet up, it's going to get kind of higher into that mid back. And you just kind of find those spots that are tender and work them out. So now we've gotten that movement that we want. Everything's feeling better. We've massaged it. We've gotten it very, very warm. Now we're going to work on our lateral twisting, right? So how we're going to do that? We're going to get back on the ground. We're on our knees at that 90, 90 angle, hands straight out. We're just gonna let our knees sink down to the side as far as we can. Now we wanna keep our shoulder blades as flat as possible. If it's really tight, these knees might not come up all the way. It might drag your back up like this. If that happens, just keep this arm locked, right? Keep these knees down. You take this hand, put them on your quad, and just breathe into it. And over time, you're gonna stretch, 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 stretch and you're gonna end up on the ground. Once you get here, stay there until it feels completely loose. You're gonna come up, go right over to that other side. Might pull you up, might not. Breathe until you can get flat. You can use this hand to grab on your quads. And so this, again, if you're doing it for basic just recovery every day, it's not really that tight. You might wanna stay in each position one, two minutes, three if it's really, really tender. But if your back is sore and really lit up, Give it time. Just breathe into it, relax, and take that half hour if you need to and do these mobility drills. So we've warmed it up. 
we've massaged it with the rolling. We have that lateral movement set up a little bit better here. The last thing that we want to do that I really like is just flexing it back and forth. So how we're going to do that, so we get into a table posture. So your hands are directly under your shoulders, your knees are directly under your hips. And what we're going to do here is sink back into it as far as we can. Breathe for a quick second and keep your face close to the ground. Come forward and up into a cobra pose and just let that flex. If this is too much right here, we could drop into a seal pose onto those forearms. But what you want to be doing is bending as much as you can at that lower back without forcing it and just let it stretch out. So then from there, press back into it. And I usually breathe two to three deep breaths in each position between switching to the next. So if you're going seal, just let it slide forward, press yourself up. If you're coming all the way, go ahead and press up into that. And just do, you know, five, 10, 15 cycles of that, however long it needs to loosen up your back. All right, just back into it. Sometimes you can just sit here, move back and forth a little bit, Feel it out, breathe into it, and see if you can find a tight spot. Say you find a tight spot, maybe push into it a little bit. Relieve that pressure. Maybe when you get into this position, you realize your lats are really sore too. So say if my left lat is sore, I'm gonna drag that hand across, hold it down, and lean into it a little bit. So now I'm stretching my lower back and my lat, which is very possible to be sore after a deadlift like that, right? So just sit here, move back into it, like I said, do, do quite a few cycles of that and just loosen it up. Once you stand back up, you'll feel that back is really warm, really loose. It's still probably going to be a little sore because it's not a magic fix. It doesn't make the pain completely go away. But now you're going to be more limber, you're going to be moving, and you're going to be ready to hit that gym again. So what have we talked about? We talked about how to just start releasing that movement, getting it moving a little bit, how to massage out your own back a little bit without a foam roller, can also do it with foam roller, but that's going to be a little more intense, might hurt a little bit. After you've done that, get that lateral movement back into your core, which is very, very important for spine stability. And after that, how to just stretch it through its full range of flexion movements. So, uh, yeah, next week we're going to be talking about how we can actually fix that issue so you're not getting all that low back pain when you deadlift because you shouldn't be getting really, really lit up in your lower back when you deadlift. You should be using much more of your full body so it's not isolated in that one point. And if it is, we need to figure out why it's doing that. It's either form, like I said before, or it's going to be a weakness in one of your muscle groups, which we're gonna diagnose next week. Uh, check out tomorrow's video on setup of the deadlift and how we can actually get into a proper activation for your deadlift before you lift. And uh, go check out religym.org, R-E-L-I-G-Y-M.org for more videos. And uh, yeah, have a good new year. Take it easy, guys.